URL the local host because we are running the local host in the in our machines and not the into the container host because if you are if we are running then we will need to be handle the 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 your host names in from the from the docker containers the database names we the database and the username and password and then we said the pg jpa the post database and we have hibernate to validate this is the most important part validate with your 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 your, your models with the, your your scripts javascript with your database script SQL scripts so that that means this if you set it is validate that means it will not take the hibernate will create the uh, your schema it's it uh, fly we will create your schema and then it said uh, uh, this information also to create flyway will uh, will uh, the, the hibernate will create the your schema but if you said validate that means you will work on both side checking if you what the definition into the your model is exist and what definition exists into the your schema that's that's i i will discuss later how can is cross check really how this works and you have the definition like the the, the show the yeah uh, the sql uh, show the sql script through that means you can when you run the application you can see the all the sql uh, execution the syntax of the execution of your application it is logged in if you say that in the enterprise application or professional employee application we didn't uh, set it like true we normally set it false because in the for the security or privacy reason or hacker hacker reason we just put it like the false we don't see any execution into the ex externally to see our sql uh, sql queries or statements from the from the browser or some but if you get it, then maybe some hacker tried to hack the your applications or your data center. That's the reason in the enterprise level application we don't put it like the true, but normally set it false. For the demo, for for presenting there's something that we can see how the execution is running, how it is there has to how it is be uh, works and how it is be handled. And that's the that's the things we need to be maintained. So you see that this the application.eml file it has a multi the documents files have a production flags it has some uh, some test flags uh, where you try to install the application then then the, the externally they can just simply change which profile the spring boot profile how they can set it and then it's the application automatically deploy the respective environment production release and test environments i already discussed a little bit more detail about that things how can you configure how can you do it and how can you check if these things so now uh, the application DML file configuration is done we are what we need what we define then we need to be defined uh, and it need to be discussed about the uh, the application structure the implementation structure so let's have, go back to the application structure the from that xml file and then see the how it is they be handled so it is the professional that's i said professional structure to to handle the applications so it has some uh, the, the basic structure like the models the all the model definition and all the repository definitions and all has the service interface service interfaces and implementation packet and the, all the utility packet that's in the project standard project structure and then it has exception packet that's all the exception if you customize exception into the handles and then it has a controller information the controller definitions and it has a configuration information for the for the prometheus and then gafana or actual configuration information and also the your swaga ui and swaga and swaga um, swaga ui or open api specification configuration is there so all the config information is there and then uh, the standard the spring boot application the main class here uh, and then and this is the standard uh, spring boot application that's but when the professional case that i explain i said you the really professional structure like that you need to be follow that one the professional structure like models repository service service impair utility the config and the controller this is the really uh, the packet the package and then you need to be handled this way and then it's the really professional example that i said so let's let's have a look for the model part very shortly very established so we have a models like we have some spring 
uh, user registration models. It has uh, all the annotation and it has the tables, name, user registration tables. It has the utility, the user registration. Combination, that's what exactly what you have it here and then all the relationships about about uh, from the from the your, your foreign key foreign primary key relationships and also the all the relationship between the, the all the your user registration user role and the user de user details and user profile objects and user role object you see the the definition of the all of the all of your all of your, your 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 columns and attributes and the relationship that one so define the, the the models that's we have and then we define the based on the models we define the all the how can say all the uh, all the all the you uh, SQL scripts so you see the every tables names that what we define in the models and then every every columns every columns definition that's what we de define in the models also and then it, it has the relationship between the uh, between the between the foreign key and primary key relationships those are new into the SQL script please google it and little bit understand how it is works and I believe it, you can get really clear understanding how it is be work how it is need to be handled for those the, the SQL scripts I go to the the sequence creations is you see that we have a four sequences really professional maybe if you are if you if you if your company is working in the really big uh, SQL database that there is a SQL developer they have a really complex procedure functions and then you can just as we said this is a complex procedure function uh, here into the then you can create a complex sequences but I, I give it to you initial idea how it is being handled the sequences and how it is be done by the sequence itself if you see the application like that we have this really professional sequence like one of the idea how can you can create such sequences the application see the 200 206 applications and then the sequences that we have it created in the 100 it has to be started from the 100 sequences so exactly what we are expecting the, our configurations so you see the office sequences, the uh, 100, 200, and 300 started, and then there are new table requirements. They use a registration detail as for the models, and there's a relationship between the user registration and the user detail information. And the sequences created, and then also the uh, your 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 <coughs> your 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 constraint, the new table constraint to create the. Which is depending how how the that's why I said this is the depend how we can model how can you design these things together that means the uh, uh, that means that you need to be uh, you need to be think about the, because we are working with the microservice application is a continuous integration continuous deployments my suggestion really small changes to the continuous integration do that continuous deployment that's the reason the the main idea for SIL or SIL based uh, continuous integration continuous deployment application so we define the uh, the, the respective models we define the all the all the all the scripts based on the models and we need to be defined the, our repositories that I already discussed a uh, little bit discussed in previous more discussion in the previous screencast but I will try to recap again so you see uh, the our uh, our the the model definition done we find that our flyway script and then now we define our our state forward uh, default repositories definition so we define repository you can also use the uh, uh, jpa repository or screwed repositories or or, or or doesn't matter which repository but for for i found really paging sorting repository or found uh, needed to paging sorting because i don't like to make really one page to 100 pages to to get 100 records with the single pages but i need to be paging pagination and sorting sorting concept into my each of the single record each of the page or each of the tabular form is a record into the into the web, web applications that's why i put it like the presentation sorting repositories but even though you can use the jpa and good repository, good code repository so you see the stand very standard paging and sorting repository definition with our existing models straight forward so paging setting repository and then user role definition it has a more functionalities a more interface definition based on some uh, additional queries i will show you later part how can you do the more queries and more annotation into the into the your 
into the your, your, your interface definition with the query annotation that's time we'll discuss a little bit later but let's let's do the really basic understanding project structure professional way how can you release one of the versions and do the monitoring with the Gafana and Prometheus and my actuated information that's the main idea for this screencast so define the repositories what we need what we define in the models with based on the models we define the four repositories or we already use it here and we define the interface definition that we need to implement and so interface definition basic code operation interface uh, just very simple very straightforward interface definition it has a more interface definition uh, with the crude operation plus additional information need to be query complex query may be needed and that's the nothing more uh, and that's the nothing we need to do any interface definitions after the interface service definition interface definition we implement the services uh, that's as they say the service is very straightforward service implement implementation so we implement the interface with the with the standard structure like basic uh, spring boot annotation this is a service annotation those are need to the spring boot or the understanding the annotation of the spring boot application please follow the my previous channel or google it to get a really clear understanding how can you how can you how can you uh, do the, the the integration how can you do the uh, how can you uh, where and how can you integrate uh, the those annotations how can you and and properly program it and properly handle those these annotations so you see that we use the service annotation because this is our business logic uh, in implementations the business logic class uh, and then we just simply annotate with this being uh, the registration repository is straightforward we use the default functionality find all find all and then we can save functionalities basic good operation implementations update the uh, update the uh, re record into the uh, user registration record update is a very straightforward very very simple maybe you have a different uh, programming ideas but i found it is one of the idea to to program it so just very straightforward so it's a delete function implementation and so on so forth if I go to the the user registration control role controller, we input the two repositories, user role repositories and user registry because we need to be both check. Uh, if is the user registrar is a registrar, then after the is if is the user registrar, then we will go to the uh, the the user 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 role definition against the user registered user. So you see the straightforward, which is a good operation. We get all the user based on the user registration ID or user role ID and then we create the user role based on the user registrar user and then update the user role based on the user registered user user role id and pass the user role objects so some checkings the very straightforward very simple uh, uh, for for implementing the spring boot uh, crude operations or basic crude operations so how we implement the interfaces then we will we will need it based on the in our implementation we will define the controllers so controller part it need to be tricky or need to be understand clearly because the controller part we need to be integrate the our swagger ui the swagger uh, specification the swagger descriptions so let's have a check that swagger is the controller part we controller part if i go to the controller sections the controller we have defined the controllers let me close it to make it easy the controllers you see the controller definitions use the detail controller and the user role controller so let you see the user role controller as part the definition uh, with the with the with the with the with the swagger ui so let's say continue the uh, the implementation the swagger ui how can you configure how can you implement this swagger ui with the with the with the, with the prometheus configuration